What is going on, boys? Minuscule Mitch is back here again today. Guys, today we have a big video talking about Team of the Year. Finally, we're getting the vote out here. Um, I've done a little bit on my Instagram and my Twitter telling you guys kind of who I think should be in it, who shouldn't. Uh, but officially, we are going to vote today. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly who I think should be in Team of the Year and a little bit more information about Team of the Year. So if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment down below because it always means the world to me. Helps out the channel a ton and uh, I love interacting with you guys. So before we get into the vote, let me just read this to you guys. Uh, it's a little description about the vote and the Team of the Year. Uh, basically, choose the best <coughs> choose the best 11 players. From the last 12 months of football, that's big because I know a lot of people get caught up on the fact that certain players are big names for a long time. From the last 12 months of football before voting closes on January 18th, which I'm pretty sure last year we got the team of the year released on the 14th, so that's really late. Um, the voting's not going to close to then. I don't know when the team of the year is going to be released, probably the following week, and then the full team of the year, like you know how they do goalkeeper defenders, then the midfield, then the attackers, then the full team. I'm thinking like early to mid-February, so they're going to be super behind schedule this year. Um, and your vote will count towards EA Sports FIFA 21 Team of the Year. The final Team of the Year will be allowed, announced later in January, so that's saying that vote closes on the 18th. The Team of the Year is not going to be uh, revealed till later. And then some of the highest rated of the season in, in Foot 21 to celebrate each player's incredible performance. So that's interesting, guys. Um, big things there, like I said. Last 12 months is the biggest deal, so don't get caught up on certain players. I'll get into it in a second. Um, and then also how late it is this year. Um, as you can see, let me switch over real fast for you guys. On my account, I have 92 packs saved up. They're all massive packs. Um, 50Ks, Megas, like right after this stage right here. Like these are all 25Ks, uh, 45Ks. Uh, and then it's all just straight up like massive packs after that. We got ultimates, megas, uh, we're going to be doing a huge stream, and uh, I'll be doing a whole video on what exactly we're doing with that stream, and I'm probably going to be giving away a ton of FIFA points, and uh, hopefully it's just a big fun event, and we get some team of the year, so that'd be really nice. But without any further ado, guys, let us get into this team of the year. I've been excited for it for a while now, and uh, I don't know, I think there's some good options in here, and I think there's some bad options in here, but... Starting off with the goalies, guys. <clears throat> in my opinion, there's only really two, maybe three options. One of them's not even on the screen. Yes, I might be a little biased, but I watched every single game this year. Chesney was an absolute unit between the sticks this year. And it's a shame he's not even on that list, considering, like, Mandana is not that great. Hideki's good, but he's not as good. So, in my opinion, it's a shame that he's not even on the list, because I would, uh... Definitely consider him just from watching him play. But then, really, the only two options are Allison and Neuer. Um, they both won a ton this year. They both played incredibly this year. Um, but in my opinion, they won everything you, there is to win. You got to give it to Neuer this year. There's really just no discussion about it. He was absolutely, essentially flawless all year. And uh, yeah, there's just there's no one else to vote for in my opinion. Next up, we're gonna start on the left and work our way to the right here. So. Tons and tons of options here. Um, can't even get them all on the screen. Uh, a Serbi, not interested. Uh, left back, Angelino, Davies. Hernandez is an option. Uh, and then Robertson, probably are most of our left backs. Again, in my opinion, there's two guys here. Uh, Robertson, or I'm sorry, uh, Hernandez or Davies. I don't think Robertson's been on their level, but again, won everything. Absolutely, in my opinion, best left back in the world over the last two years. Unfortunate that he's injured, but you can't take away from what he did. He was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, making our way into the center backs. I'm not going to take that much of a look at this. Um, Serbia again. DeVray not interested. Uh, wow, the Lick's not even on here this year. I've heard, uh, I didn't see a ton of their games, so I, it's hard for me to say, but I heard Kempembe this year was really lights out. Um, but, in my opinion, goal record for center backs. You, I mean, that's just an incredible year in itself. Uh, he's he's pushing 30, or he might even be 30. Uh, no, he is 30-something. And he's still just at the top level of his performance. And then, obviously, the best center back in the world currently. Although he is injured, you got to give it to Van Dyke. 
Now this right back spot is where it gets interesting. And if it were up to me, I would throw Kimmich right here. I don't think it's going to let me. It's not. I would throw Kimmich right back. I know he plays midfield more often than not nowadays, but just to get the best 11 players in the world in the team, that's where I would put him. That being said, we can't do it, so Hernandez is going to be my right back. Uh, I just think he's had a really great year. Um, Milan lost to the boys 3-1 to yesterday for the first time since March 2020. They lost the game in the, in the league, uh, which is just incredible. Um, so, in my opinion, he's been one of the best, and he's French. You know, they've won a lot of stuff nationally as well, so... That's just, in my opinion, who is taking my... I guess we're going to give him a left-back card, but we'll throw him in that uh, defensive four. Uh, next up, as I said, Kimmich. Already discussed him. I just think he's been phenomenal. Uh, they won absolutely everything. He's been playing lights out. Um, and I just think he's one of the best 11 players in the world. There's no way around it. Next up, a player who has come in, took in Man U from essentially a joke to... Somehow getting things together finally. They are tied in first in the league. Uh, unfortunately, they just lost to City in the uh, some cup final. But he still just made such a difference. Scored a ton of goals, gotten a ton of assists. And single-handedly, in my opinion, just pretty much turned Man U around. So I don't think you can take that away from him. He's been playing absolutely incredibly over the last year. Uh, and then there's a ton of players here. Son, I don't agree, should be in the center mid category. Uh, but he's had a hell of a year. He's... I mean, so, this is tough. I, I actually haven't decided on this one, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna decide this right here with you guys. Uh, obviously, De Bruyne is a very high level player. That being said, they haven't won a ton of stuff this year. Um, they're not that high on the table at the moment. They did just win a cup against Manchester United, uh, and then there's Henderson, obviously as well, who was just most consistent. He's gonna get in there for sure. Team of the season, most consistent, like no doubt in my mind. But is he good enough to make team of the year? In my opinion, no. Um, I, it's between Son and De Bruyne, and I think I'm going to go De Bruyne just because of the midfield aspect. Um, I just feel like he holds it down, brings more to the team. Son's obviously a great attacker and uh, a really great player, but I, I just feel like De Bruyne does more for his team. Moving into the strikers, guys. This is where there's a lot of controversy. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, Messi... Isn't even close to my team of the year. I'm pretty sure almost every guy on this list has more goals than him this year. And they haven't won uh, a goddamn thing in the last year. So, cut out of my team of the year. Sorry to say it. I know you guys, a lot of you are messy fanboys. And I've been getting a lot of hate on Instagram for it. He's just not even close to my team of the year, in my opinion. Um, Ronaldo, 30 goals in the league this year. In, actually, in 2020, 30 goals in the league. Um, he's already scored a couple this year. So, absolutely in there for me. Uh, no question in my mind. He's got to be in that team. Uh, next up, we have Lewandowski, who I don't, uh, he's in the 50s with goals this year. Absolutely just scores almost every game. Won every single league, Europa League, Champions League, everything. Just absolutely dominated. So you can't even question Lewandowski's uh, placement in the team. And then, actually, I'm going to throw Ronaldo on the right. The left wing is kind of tricky. Uh, there's a couple players here that, that could get it, in my opinion. Uh, Neymar, obviously, uh, Mane, obviously, um, uh, Holland is probably going to be my 13th man, just because I know, like, they can't even consider him a winger, so, he's probably my 13th man, the dude scored every single game, he's young, done great in Champions League, scored a ton of goals in the league, and the Champions League, and just been absolutely phenomenal for Dortmund, so, I think he's got, he has to be my 13th man, he's scored more goals than anyone else. Um, so then really it's between, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mbappe, Neymar, and Mane. And I think the person that deserves it the most because they're doing it in the Premier League would be Mane. That's who my vote would go to. I am going to take Mbappe though because I'd love to see him in the game personally. And he also has been phenomenal. Um, he's still 21 years of age. He's doing things at a crazy high level. And, uh. I think that's who the community is going to vote for. And I would like to see him as well. So, this is my team, guys. A um, couple Dor or, uh, Munich players in there. We do get a Juve. A Man U player for the first time in a long time. Uh, AC Milan player for the first time in a long time. PSG. So, definitely a good spread. Um, not too one-dimensional. And then, like I said, guys, if I had to take a 13th man, 
it would be between probably Neymar, Mane, and Holland. And personally, I would just go Holland because he's just been so, so studded. So realistically, this is my, this is my 12th, or I'm sorry, 13th man, I keep saying, 12th man. Um, this is my team right here. <clears throat> I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. But I think this is pretty foolproof and probably pretty unanimous. I know some of you guys might vote Trent. Um, and some of you probably will go messy just because you think he deserves it. I personally don't. This is my squad. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But that is it for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much.